Alrighty, uh, we're gonna go right here to this guy right here, this little shot, tight lie, we'll do a little out of the rough, and what we're doing is hitting off the toe of the wedge. You've seen it on tour a little bit, and people are like, oh, what is that, what is that, what is that? And I'm like, mm. well, now I'm gonna show you, and why you would wanna use it. You gotta know why you wanna use that first, don't just go use it, know why, okay? So we're gonna go over that. Uh, and uh, I'm gonna use the Vokey SM8 wedges. So give uh, Titleist some love, go buy all their stuff. No, I'm just joking. Uh, but maybe check it out, it's good stuff. A lot of good products out there, so I don't wanna just push one thing on you. You gotta go test stuff out, see what works best for you. I'm loving these wedges. They're, uh, they're pretty good stuff. So uh, we're gonna use them and show you the keys and the reason why you would want to hit a little shot off the toe of your wedge. Let's rock and roll. Oh, oh, I almost forgot. Thank you, appreciate you guys watching. And uh, I'd love it if you hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Hit the bell too, so you don't miss any tips and drills and product uh, stuff. And there are links in the description below for everything. So just find your way there. And uh, if there's something that you like, there's probably a discount code. Click the link, enter the code. It's like you won the lottery. Not really. Here we go. Little bit better result. Little. So what is the difference? If you're a low hands type of person when you're chipping down in here, what happens is you bring that heel down, okay? And you run the risk of chunking this into the ground. The reason why you would hit it off the toe of the wedge is one, it's a more forgiving shot. Also, you probably don't want it to go that far. So it's gonna be a shorter shot, okay? Keep that in mind. And one that, uh, you have kind of this weird lie or tight lie or any lie that you feel like you might chunk it. So when you hit it off the toe, you're not getting that pop off the face, so that's gonna help. Also, you're getting that heel off the ground, and so you have a lot more forgiveness up on the toe of the sole, so that's not gonna dig in to the earth so much, okay? So that's why you would wanna use the toe shot. Even out of here is fine. Tight lie, same thing. It's a really easy shot. So here are your keys that you're gonna wanna do to make sure that you can uh, pull this shot off with a lot of consistency. Okay, number one. You're gonna wanna get your hands up high, really high, up here. So that club is almost straight up and down like this. Maybe right here. This would be normal. You're going right here. Pull those hands up high, okay? Um, next up, what you're gonna wanna do after you get those hands high, you can't grip it the same. Okay, here would be my normal grip. If I, like I can't grip it. You're gonna have to grip it in that front pad of your left hand, kinda up here so you can hold that hand down. And the hand comes more underneath now, like this. So this is exaggerated, but this is kind of what you want to look like, just down here, okay? Almost like this is your feeling. Just both hands down like this. Elbows in, so this is, this is kind of the shot. This is kind of exaggerated, but you get the idea that's basically where you want to be. Okay, next step, and this might sound ridiculous, but it's true, you'd be surprised how many people actually don't do this. Uh, you're going to want to set up You gotta set up the ball on the toe, okay? 
You gotta set that up. So many people do everything and then they put it right in the middle and the thing goes boom, shoots way out there. You've gotta set it up on the toe. Like almost half the ball, like off the toe. Like you're really hitting the toe. So there's a groove here. You see that groove? Uh, here are the grooves. Here's no grooves. You want that ball like 50-50 on the grooves. That's where you want it to be, right here. Don't set up in the center or on the heel. A lot of people do that too. That's gonna be up here. You want that ball 50-50 right on that line, right there. If you make an error, go way on the toe. It's important. And that ball will hit and just release. So you're gonna have to figure out what loft of club you're gonna use. I'm using a 54 right now. And it's just gonna go and release. And you really wanna get a lot of roll. It's, it's one where you're not trying to spin the ball at all want to get it you want to get it over whatever's in front of you right like I probably wouldn't putt that but I want to chip it over some and just let it roll like a putt that's gonna be key there's one more thing that you need to do to really be able to pull this off and uh, other than that and then it'll be an easy shot okay the last piece of the puzzle here is gonna be this so you got your your setup I mean you obviously you know I, hopefully I don't have to go over stance i mean it's pretty pretty basic kind of setup here um ball position now all i'm going to do is i'm going to rock my shoulders back and forth just i'm putting this okay i'm putting this i don't want to i'm not wrist cocking i'm not doing any of that it's a, just a putting stroke that's it that's what you got to think about like take some practice swings with your putter if you want and then just get in there and it's a putting stroke that gets the ball more lofted And it's super easy to control the distance with a shot like that. So give it a try. It's hitting it off the toe of your wedge. I think you're gonna like it. There you go. Thanks so much for watching this video on hitting the, uh, the ball off the toe of your wedge. If you want more tips and drills, click here or here. Thanks again. Love you guys. And I'll see you all next video.